I want to talk to you about the best resources for learning how to code. Before I dive into that, there is one thing that I want to say, and this might be a controversial opinion, but I'm just going to say it. Spending too much time trying to figure out what the very best coding course is, is a huge waste of your time. When I first started learning how to code forever ago, or it feels like forever ago, I would spend so much time Googling things like, you know, what is the very best Python for beginners course? Or what is the best ever JavaScript course? Because I wanted to learn JavaScript. And the truth is this became a form of procrastination for me. I would search around for the best course on CSS or what's the best coding course to learn backend development. And I did this instead of writing code. So I was searching around for what's the very best resource for learning how to code instead of actually learning how to code. So don't make my mistake. If you are watching this and you know you want to learn how to code, go find one or two good resources, one or two good courses, and then start those courses immediately. Do not waste a week or a month looking around for the very best coding course. The most important thing is that you actually start coding. Some courses are definitely a little bit better than others, but all you really need to do is pick one course and then dive in and get started. You really just need one or two courses and you need to start building projects and then you're pretty much off to the races. So I think we kind of have this false belief and it's kind of like, well, if only I could find this one best resource for coding, then I'll instantly become a great developer, right? It's kind of like the Willy Wonka golden ticket. If only I take the right course, I will get this six figure income. But the truth is programming is going to be really hard and there is no one perfect golden ticket course that is going to make you a developer. What's going to make you a developer is showing up day in and day out and writing code. Okay, so these two resources that I'm going to share, they are both completely free. And that said, there are other paid courses out there that I also love. And if you want me to make a video on those, please let me know in the comments below. The first resource is Stanford's Computer Science 101 course. I love this course because it's an absolute beginner course and it doesn't assume any uh, previous knowledge and it dives right into coding. But the other reason why I really love this course is that it gets into just a little bit about how computers really work. For me, when I first got started, I learned all about things like JavaScript, like programming languages, but I didn't fundamentally understand how computers work. And so I love that this course actually talks a little bit about what is happening beyond just your text editor. For later on, once you've built some projects and you've been coding for a while, and if you want to learn more about computer science, then I highly recommend how to teach yourself computer science, and I will link to that below. Okay, the second free resource that I suggest is Free Code Camp. I used Free Code Camp to learn to code, and I dove straight into a project. So I clicked on one of their project courses, and I started building. I tried to start building. I very quickly got stuck and had to go learn the programming language that I was using so I could build this project. Now, I highly recommend that you dive into one of their projects before spending even more hours just watching a course or watching a tutorial. Diving into a project straight away, this is not the fun way to learn how to code. This will be really hard and you'll get stuck and you'll feel stupid, or at least I felt really stupid, but this is definitely the fastest way to learn to code. This is the quickest way to learn, in my opinion. One thing I love about the free code camp projects is that they break these projects into small achievable little steps. And this is so helpful if you're just getting started. Okay. So that's it. That's the video. These are two of my favorite free resources. Now there are a lot of other great resources out there and let me know if you want me to make a video on that. But again, I don't think you need 97 free resources for learning how to code. I would pick one or two courses and try to get started building projects as soon as you can. Okay, if you liked this video, then I am told that I should ask you to please subscribe and also leave a comment and let me know what you thought or share with me what you think are the best free coding courses.